Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. If you're looking for information on how to pair the Garmin Approach R10 with GS Pro, then you've come to the right place. First, I'm going to show you how to pair the Garmin with your computer to Bluetooth, and then I'll show you how to obtain the software and install it, and how to start it with GS Pro. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want to turn on your Garmin. Once you've done that, hold down the button on the back until it turns a solid blue. Like that. Not blinking, but a solid blue. Now you're in pairing mode, all right? From there, this is what you'll do. All right, so first thing you wanna do is go to settings. After you've opened up settings, go to Bluetooth and devices. And then you'll click on devices right there where it says add device. This is very important. You want to scroll down to Bluetooth this devices discovery and make sure this is set to advanced and not default because there is a good chance it will not find the Garmin. From there, you'll click on add device. And then you'll find it either under Bluetooth or everything else. When you click on that, it should show up and then you'll be able to pair it with your computer. Once you're done, you're gonna to wanna to download the software. So I'm gonna put this link in the bottom in the comments. You're gonna to go to github.com and download the zip file for the GS Pro R10 adapter. So go ahead and click on that link and that's gonna download You'll follow that download and open that up. And then you're gonna click on that file on the top, the GS Pro-R10. And from there, you'll hit Extract All. You'll then go to the folder where that is and install it. It should only take a few seconds. Once you've done that and you turn on your Garmin, you'll click on that link to start it and it will connect to the launch monitor. Once you've done that, you can then connect it to GS Pro. So all you're gonna do from there is just start GS Pro and it's going to link the two, simple as that. Now I am using Windows 11, so the process should be very similar for Windows 10. You should only be using Windows 10 or 11 with GS Pro. Now let's also look at some content that I created using GS Pro and the Garmin Approach R10 on the GS Pro driving range and also some course play. Hundred and fifty two yards. That one was dead on. 141.8 yards. I felt like that was hit really well. As good as I probably can hit it. 151.8 with 70. But that one was right at it. 161 exactly. Yeah. 176.6 yards on. One hundred and seventy-two point two yards on eighty point eight mile an hour club speed. Two hundred twenty-four yards. All right. So
223.9 yards. All right, we're meandering down the fairway here. Looks like that's just fine. All right, that's gonna two putt me from there. That might be too much. Stop. Woo wee, right to the edge. That should be good, that felt good. All right, nice. All right, we got it down there, 247 yard drive. Go. All right, that's gonna two pot me. Thank you for watching today. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed today's content and share with your friends who are or may be interested in GS Pro. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to turn on notifications for future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.